Assalamualaikum and very good morning students grade 7 and international law secondary science today we are going to study very interesting topic and the topic name is classifying plants and animals see I am Naza Abed and you will study here that all the two million types of living things why they are different how they are different and how they are grouped okay student in ILS ILS is international law secondary science today we are studying chapter number two and the name of the chapter is classifying plants and animals the first triggering question they have asked in this page that are coral plants or animals what are corals do you know these are the corals see beautiful corals don't they seem so like they are plants but actually they are animals here are some uh, other animals are shown they are sponges okay now here they have again asked a triggering question that this is seahorse and this is jellyfish both the seahorse and jellyfish live in the sea is the seahorse a fish what about the jellyfish so let me clear the answer of the striking question that jellyfish are not actually fish they are just termed jellyfish but seahorse is really a fish and how do you know that how, how do i know that after studying this chapter you will also be able to explain all these answers which will be the learning outcomes of this page number 50 page number 27 now let's move to our topic the topic is the need to classify living things living organisms a diversity of living things a great diversity of living things exist on earth scientists have discovered and classified about two million different types of living things today scientists around the world continue to make new and new discoveries of new and new kinds of living things there's a great diversity of living things whether they're living in the sea or whether they are living in the on the land whether they are living in the polar regions whether they are living in the Amazons whether they are living in the off New Caledonia this lobster was discovered in 2005 being the relative of an extinct species and its name is Nuclefia nucleidonica okay now try it out in recent years uh, listen students you'll be you'll be uh, observing that there are some try it outs as well in every page of your book so we'll be explaining that as well now try it out what is a try it out they're saying that which were new to science to thought what were new to science to thought in recent years scientists have discovered dozens of plants and animal species which were new to science or thought to be close to extinction in the remote jungles of the Foja mountain uh, range New Guinea part of Indonesia do an online search using the keyword new species in Foja mountain to found to find out more about the treasure trove of organism discovered in scientists so the students so my those students who are uh, who, who are in habit of searching new and new species will be going on net to discover about it so become a scientist are you becoming so it will be your try it out now at page number 29 they are asking how is the great diversity of living things classified classified means grouped living things can be classified based upon their characteristics some characteristics are more important than others when used to classify living things what are those characteristics these characteristics are living things in the same group share similar characteristics since each living thing has many characteristics biologists who study living organisms who are biologists who study living organisms usually classify living things based on these five bullets number one is anatomy what is anatomy shape and body structure number two is development 
what is development these stages that are coming from a baby egg or seed to a new grown animal plant then biologists study life cycles then biology biologists study evolutionary history how they evolve see evolution means how they were here and how they have changed and then genome they study the genetic material what is genetic material it's found in nucleus okay one common way of classifying living things is based on linear system who was linear linear was a scientist called linear so we'll study in the page next page about it but let me tell you here in my science tidbits i have uh, pasted some sticky uh, notes here linear was a swedish botanist who created the grand system for classifying plants and animals and what is taxonomy taxonomy is a system for naming or organizing things living things especially plants and animals into groups that share similar qualities what are those five similar qualities i've told here now see why uh, they are showing here a triggering question why the color is not the quality for sick for classifying living things because black widow spider and gorilla have the same color so color and they are totally different in these five properties that's why they are grouped in different groups now uh, this is a mnemonic mnemonic what are mnemonic uh, a group of verb words they can help you to uh, learn difficult questions like taxonomic ranks living things are classified a group in eight taxonomic groups they are domain kingdom phylum class order family genus and species how you will learn their sequence by this dear king philip came over for food so dear d k p c o f f here in this next picture in this next page call linear science tidbits are information about important scientific terms so Carl Linnaeus was the scientist who has classified living things here in this page number 30 they have given us the answer of humans me and you your classification so we all are we all are homo sapiens what is our scientific name homo sapiens and what is our uh, common name modern man what is our kingdom what is our domain our domain is animalia okay what is our kingdom? Animalia. Right? Then what is our phylum? Called data. Then what is our class? This is very important to learn. What is our class? Mammalia. Mammal. What is our order? Primates. Primata. What is our family? Homonidae. Homonid. What is our genus? Homo. And what is our species? Homo sapiens. See? Monkey species is erectus. That's why it's all other classification terms are same like us. Monkey and humans have genus, have kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, same. Species is different. Homo sapiens is the name of modern man and Homo erectus is the name of monkeys. Okay, now scientific names. What are scientific names? Scientific names are the names they have two words the first word is the generic name a genus name and the second word is the specific species name okay they are written like this the first word is written in capital letter and the species name is written in small letter like dog is canis familiaris like giraffe is giraffe giraffa camelo parodalis peach is prunus persica Turtle is leatherback turtle is Dermocarus coriacea. Okay, iguana iguana is iguana iguana. It's very easy to learn. You can learn its name. Iguana iguana and Prunus persica are easy, very easy. If anyone will ask, do you know any scientific name of any plant or, or animal? You can say, yes, I know the name of peach, Prunus persica, and I also know the name of iguana iguana. Okay, so scientific names we have studied. Now at this page. The very important thing they are telling you is the answer of your question number one as well. At page number 32 is the answer of question number one as well. Why is classification of living things important? So you can write the answer by writing these all four bullets. So it helps to systematically organize the rich diversity of living things on art so that we can study and understand them better. It helps us to identify the great variety of living things. It helps to determine the relationship between organisms. It helps us to trace possible origins of organisms. 
at this page the key points are written this is page number 33 okay but the key points are very important if you learn these key points you can uh, you can say that you have learned all these three pages which we have studied right now okay here at uh, at the end of this chapter is the review question these are the X, this is the exercise and today we will do only question number one and the question number one is why do scientists classify living things and the answer I have told you the answer of this question is on page number 32 okay and the answer is those four bullets the answer is this okay